Hello, I hope your day is going absolutely amazing. If you are new here, hello, my name is Alyssa. It is so nice to meet you. If you are not, hi, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back to my plan with me video. <laughs> um, super quickly, if you are new, I hope you subscribe. I hope you join our little tiny corner of the YouTube internet place. Um, I, yeah, so I'm doing a plan with me. It's my very first Christmas plan with me. I'm very, very excited. Um, I'm pulling out all of my stickers from my little nooks and crannies in my albums. Um, some of you guys had messaged me after last week and said that you enjoyed it. Um, the kit that I'm using is a Christmas kit from Scribble Prince Co. It is one of the mini kits. For those who are new here, I don't usually plan with ultimate kits only because they are lost on me. I love them. I think they're so bountiful and beautiful. I think this is a mini kit. I'm not sure. Um, it may not be actually, I can't remember, but uh, this is a repurposed kit. A friend of mine had purchased it. Um, and she was looking to de stash. I was down, unfortunately a Christmas kit. Um, so I had bought a beautiful kit. That's my undo, which I don't end up using. And I don't know why I don't use it. Oh, cause it makes me nervous. <laughs> That's why I'm new to the undo world. Um, it, oh, seeing it soaked paper just makes my anxiety like ooh, flare up. Um, but yeah, so why am I, why do I, why did I help a friend, not really help a friend, but like buy a D stash kit? Um, a, I actually ordered a gorgeous sticker kit initially, um, from a shop along with a winter kit and I ordered it, I think October 2nd. Um, the second week or first week, not even second week, first week of October. I was very, very excited for them. Actually, it was so cute, so beautiful. And um, we got to the seven week mark of it not being shipped and it just, it wasn't shipped. And I had contacted the shop and I was just like, hey, like, I know you're probably really busy. You know, can you ship my thing for me? Um, didn't get a reply, but it shipped minutes later, which was interesting. Um, and didn't get a reply, which is kind of irritating. Um, and then not that like, I totally understand shops are busy, especially right now with Black Friday and they were slammed. And this was like a week before Black Friday, I think, or a couple days before Black Friday. And um, it shipped and then, no, it was a week before Black Friday and it sat in pre-shipment for about a week and a bit. And then that brings us to like Black Friday-ish time. And I was kind of like, okay, like it's been sitting a free shipment, like a pre shipment. Are you not shipping it? What's going on? Um, and that was about the eight week mark. And initially the shipping time was two to four weeks, which I believe me, I am one of those people who are very, very patient. I used to own a shop, so I know how long it can take, especially around this time of year. Um, and I appreciate so much all the hard work that goes into these. But if you're going to make a shipping time of two to four weeks at week eight, it should be in my hands for the most part, or at least be on its way taking slowly from the States, but it never actually got to a place. Like it never actually got to a postal office, which is really irritating. Um, didn't even get a reply. Uh, my friend who I ordered with ended up having to contact them and I did eventually get, we did end up getting a refund, which is not what I wanted. I actually would have really liked the kits, but it wouldn't have gotten to me in time. So I was just kind of like, like, it's not going to get here. I live in Canada. Why did we have to wait this long? Um, which makes me think it was never actually shipped or even in pre-shipment, which was kind of irritating. Uh, very poor way of handling things. Um, but at the same time, like I totally understand. I think what irritated me is that the shop had a sale every single weekend for like 40, 50, 60% off buy one, get one. And if you're going to have like a sale that constantly for that high of a volume of like discount off, you need to, I, I felt that they should have been on top of their at least they're shipping. Um, if it's going to get to week seven and I don't have a shipping notification or any update or an email saying, Hey, like we're behind, uh, then I'm going to be kind of upset about it. Um, it, I mean, I don't really get upset, upset, but <laughs> I was pretty PO'd about it. Um, for sure. And then I think what irritated me and what really started to bother me is around week four, the shipping time changed from four to six weeks without like an update, even though we were on two to four weeks. So that was irritating, but I gave it, I gave it to like a week and a half grace. And then I, that's when I started contacting and still never got a reply from it. I just got, kind of got a refund on my end, which was very irritating. Um, so I was very lucky that I had over purchased and bought this off a friend because I was very sad that I couldn't initially like pop it. And I was like, I only, 
I planned for five weeks of Christmas and I forgot that the last week of December is going to be a New Year's kit. <laughs> and I was like, Alyssa, like why? Um, so I had an extra kit and I was trying to figure out how I could like finagle this in, maybe fit this in or do like an extra like random week because I really wanted to use this kit and I'm so glad that it kind of worked out the way it did where this is my first week of Christmas kit. So I was very excited for this. Um, I don't usually do glossy sticker kits. I am a matte person only because pretty much all of my stickers are matte. It's very rare that I have anything glossy unless it's like a transparent sticker, but I mean, they're transparent stickers. So even a lot of some of my transparent stickers from like, um, planting roses, it's a matte transparent, which I think is really cool. So that, 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 <laughs> so that was my long story as to why I can actually use this kit. I'm very excited for it. Um, so it worked out very well in my favor, but you know, when you don't get your order, it's kind of upset. I'm also now down a winter kit, which is okay because I have time to like find one. If worst comes to worst, I have the means to be able to print it off. I just, I'm too lazy to do printables. If I don't have to, I don't want to. <laughs> um, also I feel like, I don't know. I love supporting other shops. And I think it's very exciting for me, at least in this capacity. Maybe I'll do printable one day. Um, we'll do like a plan with me with a printable. Yeah, maybe I'll write that down in my little list. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm just pulling out some stickers. As you can see, some of you guys had mentioned, um, on Instagram or even, I think a very lovely comment was made about <laughs> it being like <laughs> nice to see me pull out my stickers. So I figured I'd go in and pull them out so you can kind of see a mini view of my small collection. Oh, Small's not exactly the word I'd use, but of my little collection. Uh, this whole album, by the way, is from Scribble Prince, uh, not Scribble Prince Co. It's from um, Simply Gilded, and the actual, all the stickers in it are from Paper Bits Co. And I pretty much had to put them all in one spot because they were all over the place. And I just kind of shoved them all in the same album, which is really nice. Um, if you want to see what my planner storage setup, I will. If you look along the top, a little thing will come up where you can click on it and see my storage setup. All my albums are from Simply Beautiful Plans for the most part. I'm also ordering some more. She's releasing some on Friday. So if it is, this is Saturday. So if you get this message and you want to see or grab some albums, go check. I think she's got some in her shop. Hopefully, fingers crossed for you. Um, but I'm definitely picking up three-ish or so small ones because uh, I am out of space in my foiled, my... Um, lettering and my script stickers and my I need mean, an extra character one actually so I think I'm gonna grab two script ones too because I think I'm full on the one I've got um, and I've got a lot more coming so well <laughs> wow Alyssa <laughs> um, so yeah so this is the kit that I'm using it's super cute I love it it's very Christmassy I love that there's a dog in there that I'm not gonna lie was what really drew me to it I love the puppy in it um, I have a lab collie he's half lab half collie and then half great dane no half lab collie and then half great dane mix um so he's not as furry as that one but he's also a blonde ish dog um he's blonde well he's white with like blonde spots he's very i call him my little moo cow dog because he's got a moo cow belly <laughs> um so my little that was kind of to represent my puppy at christmas he's so cute um so yeah, that's kind of what's going on there. Uh, Monday, the underlay sticker I'm using under classes is from Miss and Yo, as you can see. The class and the meeting stickers are from Simply Beautiful Plants. And the girl at her laptop is from Paper Bits Co. That cute little holly divider is from the Pink Paper Co. And she is also a Canadian shop. There's a lot of Canadian shops being represented in that whole box now that I look about it, I look through it, except for the Scribble Prince Co. Um, I do tend to reach for a lot of Canadian shops. Um, the little countdown that you see me sort of pulling from, or you'll see me pull from in a minute is from Letters to Apollo. I love it. I bought it with the Christmas kit I have from her, which I think I'm going to end up using on Christmas day. I haven't quite decided. Um, I am doing a collab in two weeks with some of the girls from, um, the Dash of Sun designs. And so my, what I was going to use for my Christmas kit is being brought up a week. So I'm doing that that week and I'm very excited for that collab. So stay tuned. It's not going to be next week, but the week after. And I am so excited. It is such a pretty Christmas kit. I love it. Um, and I'm very excited because I have another order from Dash of Sun coming. It is my monthly, I believe. I think I have monthly and some embellishments. I can't remember, but I definitely know that my January monthly is in there which is very exciting for me. Um, just laying down my sidebar this week. I did have a little space for school. Um, I haven't been using my school 
monthly setup as much. Um, I, I'm done pretty much all of my like assignments. I'm actually done pr- all my assignments now. And uh, am I? Yes, I am. I actually done every single one of my assignments. I have a small little presentation next Tuesday morning. Um, it's like a five minute presentation on aromatherapy and, uh, and like scents and olfactory senses and stuff. And, um, so yeah, so I've just kind of plop, been plopping them down on my sidebar if I remember to. And I had most of my, a lot of my stuff was due this week, but it was, it, they've been done for a while. So including a really intense, like presentation on Monday morning, Monday morning, 10 AM, we had a present, my group did a presentation on made. Um, if you're in Canada, then you should, and you, I think you know what that is. Um, I don't know if it's just like a Canadian term or like a all the way like international term, but, um, made is what our topic was. And it was, whew, we did good. We got perfect on it, which is amazing, but it was very heavy for a Tuesday morning at 10 AM. Not going to lie. Um, another cute little set from the pink room co so cute. This is my thinking <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Um, and then I layer it with a bottom little underlays. I don't know what I'm calling them underlays, but underlays from, um, dash of sun. And then I use my paper bits co senior stickers which are so cute <laughs> Ta-da. um those are really great stickers i if you saw my haul then you saw that i got those from the made in canada sale by the way these overlays are from planning roses and they're so cute i as you can see kind of bought a set from planning roses and one from simply beautiful plans so i can go back and forth i wanted to use both i think all of my other kits have foil try to think letters to apollo what do I have next week? I don't remember what I'm using next week. Um, Dash of Sun is a week. And there's one more in there, I think. Or maybe I only have the three. I can't remember. I don't know how many weeks I have. Um, I think there's one, two. Yeah, I think there's another one between. I have another kit to go in between. Um, but yeah. Yeah. And now I've lost my train of thought. Shocker. Uh, oh yeah. So I bought both of those to kind of layer over. But again, most of my kits have like foil on them. This was the only one that didn't. But yeah. Um, that is pretty much my Monday was class. I had a meeting. We had to talk about my evaluation meeting that I had today on Thursday and I'm doing my voiceover on a Thursday, guys, (laughs) actually when I planned it too, which is shocking for me. I usually do it randomly at the beginning of the week. Um, I had that meeting and I had my book club. We are finishing up our, um, our book. It is called Peter Pettigrew's Last Stand. Ooh, I am tired. I had an early morning today-ish. I had a lot of running around to do today. But yeah, so we did that. That was my Monday. And then I kind of just chilled in the evening. Um, I actually filmed this Monday night. That's when I had the wicked headache. I filmed this on Monday night. Um, Yeah, I didn't really write that in because I didn't really have a plan to like... I normally film on a Sunday, like film on a Sunday. But, uh, I wanted to just chill on Sunday night. I came home from work and I was just kind of like, no, I'm just gonna, I'll plan on Monday. And then Tuesday, what did I have on Tuesday? I had class in the morning. I had rec class. No, I had, yeah, I had recreation in the morning first thing. Um, and then it was just a bunch of presentations that I had to sit through. And then I had my man class, which is my final man class. It's my management class, um, for me to actually manage a facility in my field, which is very cool. And a very interesting um, stream, by the way. Uh, it's gerontology, but it also allows me to manage a facility. And then my degree will help me really, I can work in more of like a social aspect. So it's just more of a specialization and allows me to work in different fields within my field because my field is very, very vast and super evolving quickly, especially with the rate of uh, seniors in uh, Ontario. They're it's going up very, very fast. So it's a very cool field. Um, so I had my management class and that was our final class. We have an assignment due next week, but I've already handed it in. And then I think Tuesday night I had plans to go out, but unfortunately one of my teachers realized she didn't have enough grades for us and, um, needed to assign something kind of last minute that was due Wednesday morning. Cause that was our last class for that class on Wednesday morning, which was my group processes class. So I ended up throwing in I uh, throwing all my time into that on Tuesday night and I was supposed to go out with Yana. We were going to, uh, she's actually going to come here. We were going to plan and just grab dinner. Cause Yana is, I see her weekly. She is in my bubble. She is like my 
bestie planner friend. Um, so we spent a lot of time together. So she was going to come over. We were just going to have like a chill night. And I was just like, I got to do some work. I just need to get this done. Um, and she was super understanding about it. So we're going to do that next week. Instead, we're going to have just a girl's evening on Tuesday, which I'm very excited for. I look forward to those nights. <laughs> um, it's kind of time for me to like decompress from work, uh, not work from, um, school and not be in my room because my schooling is in my room. So I don't really get to leave my room very often, apparently. So yeah, I'm very excited for that. And then let's see, these are very cute by the way. They're from Sadie stickers. They're so cute. And the little Holly divider is from the pink room co as well. The coffee cup is from planning roses and the cute girls on the computers are from uh, paper bits co. I finished a whole sheet. Yay. But I got to pick up another one. I've got three of them. Unfortunately, she doesn't have them in her shop, at least right now. I'm hoping that she brings this back. And if you can hear me, please bring them back. <laughs> I've already used two full sheets. So, and I've got a whole other year of school. Oh my gosh. A whole year of school. Holy Moses. Actually this time next week, I'll be graduating my, with my full degree and my master's stuff. So that's exciting. Um, Ooh, that's a time frame. I was actually telling Nathan today and mentioned it to him, actually my maid of honor, I was like, this time next year, we'll be putting up our own tree. I'll be married. What a weird thought. Like I'll be married. It's crazy. <laughs> um, popping down some more class stickers from Simply Beautiful Plants and that beautiful Holly, um, the big one that like Mand like half box mandala thing is from Planting Roses. And then the wreath under the Miss and Meow box is from the Pink Room Co as well. 25 day stickers the countdown is from letters to apollo like i believe i'd said earlier um i love it it's such a beautiful script i was so happy i grabbed it i think i grabbed it during there was a sale that she had i can't remember if it was an anniversary sale or what but i did purchase it and i love it so so much Whew, a lot of a lot of a lot of talking <laughs> um popping that down here as well and then going on to next week i hope i think there you go <laughs> Um, what did I have this week? So that brings us to Thursday. Oh yes. These are from Simply Beautiful Plans, my Hello Month stickers. So Hello December. It is in rose gold. You can't really see it as much, but I'm not going to lie. It is rose gold. I don't have it in every foil because it doesn't really make sense to have. I guess it does make sense to have it in every foil, but I don't, <laughs> there's no pre-thought there. It was just kind of me going, eh, okay. <laughs> I'm actually very excited. Um, I hope your Black Friday was great. I hope you got everything that you wanted. Um, I actually filmed my haul video on Black Friday, which I thought was funny. Um, but I definitely made some orders. Um, grabbed from, I think I grabbed from Simply Beautiful a couple days after Black Friday. Um, because I am very bad at planning. <laughs> Irony here. Um, these beautiful bougie boxes are from Rose Color Days. I love them so much. Oh, a bunch of you guys had asked because I have these bougie box overlay things why I don't plan with bougie boxes um reason there's a couple well the main reason is I like my white space sometimes I I like seeing that white space I don't know why I just I like it it makes I guess it kind of creates like block 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 for me it kind of blocks out my week a little better and I can see it clearly um and also because I sometimes will write straight on the paper very rarely but I do sometimes write like right on the paper so, um, but as a little change, if you would like for me to do a bougie box spread, let me know. Um, and I can totally do it. It would definitely challenge me <laughs> so I can absolutely do it. Let me know in the comments or grab me on Instagram since a lot of you send team seem to really reach out there, which I love talking to you guys. It's so fun for me. Um, I actually really enjoy it. <laughs> I love, I love having planner friends. It makes me so happy. Um, I know I live a of an interesting life. <laughs> um, this cute little Holly thing, I believe, is also from Planning. No, it's not. It's from the Pink Room Co. Yes, it's from the Pink Room Co. I see them down below. Um, I have a couple. I have some wintry ones too from uh, Simply Beautiful Plans. I have a lot of mandalas. All of a sudden, I was at one point I was like, I need mandalas, and I just overbought. I bought a whole bunch of them, so I'm set for a while, which is really cute. Uh, putting down my headers. As you can see, I thought I was going to be like, my spatial awareness was great. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to put down like the three blocks, like my old vertical planner. Um, little did I know I should have probably spaced it out first. Didn't do it. So that's, you're going to see that trial. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, okay. Um, look at this cute little puppy. I love it. Uh, anyways, on to Thursday morning. Um, today I did, what did I have today? 
I had my spelling bee, which was amazing. It was really cute because we had to, they, they had like technical difficulties. So um, I got on a couple, they, they brought me in the room a couple minutes late. And as soon as I said, hello, all of my residents were like cheering for me. Um, they were very excited. I, I was so touched. And then I got my evaluation today, which was amazing. I'm so excited. Um, it's been a very hard transition from being in person because of what I do. A lot of my connections are made in person. Ooh, sorry, my brain, apparently I want to yawn. Um, <laughs> I'm tiring myself out. Um, a lot of my connections are made in person and it's very hard for me to connect through a screen. I don't know if it's just cause I'm old, um, but it's very hard for me to connect that way, especially in the kind of capacity that I am in. A uh, connection is very important. And so I was just kind of like, it, it was hard in the beginning to really find that space where I felt, where I, I don't know, like not where I felt that connection, but where I felt that connection. Um, but over time it got there and there was an email attached to my evaluation. I didn't see it until I got the, like the, I was CC'd in, like in on the email about how um, one of my residents wrote an email saying how much she enjoyed the program and me, and it can't wait to have me in person. And I can't tell you how much I, I'm, I want to be in person. Um, unfortunately with everything going on right now, it's obviously just not safe. I work in a mall. Um, we're very, very clean. We don't have anyone coming into our store cause we're curbside only, but there's always that like potential. So I would never risk it. And I won't like, I, I'm not fighting that for a reason. Um, but I'm hoping that eventually there'll be that ab ability for us to go in with whatever they bring out. So yeah, so it, it was very lovely and I can't wait. And I hope, I hope, hope that I get to go in at least before I graduate, because I think it'd be a really cool experience for me to finally meet these people that I've made this like little connection through the screen with in person. So yeah, that's that, <laughs> that's that on that. Um, but yeah, it was a very lovely, cool thing. And I just, I read it actually in the kitchen before dinner and I was just like I was teary-eyed it meant so much to me and I just I love it I love it so much fun so yeah so anyways back to stickers <laughs> I feel like I'm just gushing today um these are more little underlays from Dash of Sun Designs I did purchase quite a few from her and they're foiled gold um I think I have some rose gold and silver ones I can't I believe I have silver ones for sure since all of my uh Christmas ones are from are um silver and hollow I love my, oh no, my winter, is it winter? Yeah, I love my winter out like foil is silver and hollow. So I'm very excited for that. Um, popped on another countdown to Christmas. This is where you're going to start to see me slow down a little bit mentally. I was really kind of drained here and my head was just on fire. It's pounding. Um, so I kind of, <laughs> you'll see me kind of quickly pack it up and just be like, okay, here it is. Um, but at the very end of this video, I did a little talk, a little quick hello and walk you through what I added because I added a little bit to the spread the next day because I opened it and I was like oh yeah I wasn't feel like that's how you know I wasn't feeling it when I like go the next day and I'm like oh wow okay uh, I didn't finish it um so I show you at the very very end um some of you guys had asked what I do with my stickers afterwards um I actually put them in because I don't finish a whole sticker set our whole kit because I don't use so that many stickers from a full set. That's why I usually stick to like mini kits or smaller kits. And I actually use a reusable album. So um, one of you guys had asked if I would, at the very end of my video, maybe put my stickers in my reusable album and show you how I use it. I would love to. So I think maybe next, our next, my next video, if it's not too, too long, um, I'll do a little, I'll kind of turn off the voiceover and just talk you through my reusable sticker book. I have three. I only use one right now. Um, only just because like I, I use it mainly for putting extra kit pieces in. I do want to do, um, in the new year, a Franken kit spread. I have so many like random stickers from various shops and leftover kits or from like kit grab bag so I've got like a whole bunch of full boxes Mo they're mostly like summer kind of autumnal ones so I can do them more so in the summer but if you'd like to see a Franken kit spread of like just me reusing some of my stickers from my reusable sticker book let me know I'm down for that I can't promise it's gonna be cute because 
that's unfortunately me um but let me know and i'll totally do that these are very cute they're bucket list from simply beautiful plans i also grabbed one from dash of sun they were different and they're i like that the fonts were different so i wanted to incorporate both of them because i don't know they're they weren't exactly the same and i really like that so i have a little bit from each which is exciting so exciting sorry i want to yawn almost you can tell I'm very tired. <laughs> um, so really cool thing is we actually got our tree today. So it has been purchased. As you can see, it says buy a tree. It arrived this morning. Um, we order from a local tree farmer. So it is a local guy who just owns his own tree farm up north. And he used to sell, I think he still does it, but he used to sell at the St. Lawrence Market. Um, and then my mom found him there many, many years ago because of our ceiling and I'll show you if you follow me on Instagram that you you'll see it this year um where we put our tree is a we don't have a second floor it's just kind of all the way up it's a full like Florida roof kind of thing um so you you can basically overlook that room from the second floor there's like a little banister and so we actually put a huge tree in our front window um I think last year it was 18 feet this year I think it'll probably be about 13 to 14 feet we went a little smaller we usually have it so big because we have a huge Christmas cheer every year. And uh, we're obviously not having that this year. <laughs> uh, with everything going on, we're just, we're keeping it with just family. We're just having family for like dinner. And it's either people in our bubble and we're not doing it together. We're doing it separately. So they're very small numbers, but mostly just my siblings and our significant others. Um, and then I have a couple of cousins that are in my immediate family in our direct bubble where we've seen them and we, and they're home too. So, but that we're not doing these massive gatherings. No one needs to be sick, especially like before like New Year's and Christmas. So yeah, so we're doing, um, he dropped it off today. We do like, we like to support him because that is his, like, he, that's what he does. That is, that's his big thing. And, uh, Christmas is when he gets to make his money for him and his family. So we order from him every single year. He is such a fantastic guy and he drops it off every year to us, which is lovely. That's my water, by the way. <laughs> I just showed you put down my hydrate sticker and my water. Um, I do hit my water every day. It's very important to me. Did I hit it today? Not quite. Uh, I actually think I did. Yes, I did. I hit it this morning too during one of my things. Um, so yeah, so we came in. It is beautiful. Look how cute these are, by the way. Look how freaking cute these are. <laughs> They're from Paper Bits Go. I got them from the Made in Canada sale. That bundle, she did a little freebie with like the bundled up guy. I asked her to do more. I was like, can I just have a full sheet of them? I think she said she might be doing a deer version. Oh my God. I, I love it. So yeah. So he came today and her tree is very cool. He was saying, he mentioned to my mom that he has a very interesting tree. He brought us two, he brought us a regular tree and then he brought us, it looks like two that were grown together. So there's two trees and I'll, I'll post it on my Instagram. Like once we have it up, it's two trees completely wrapped around and intertwined. So it's, it looks like one big tree. It's big and it's full because they both obviously grew, but it's two trees. My mom called it a lover's tree where they're intertwined and wrapped around each other. And then they had come up together like at the top. And it's just, it's so beautiful. When he showed me, he was like, I thought it was going to break. It was going to fall apart. Cause they were two like thinner trees but they're so sturdy. They've actually grown together and like fully wrapped around one another and it's gorgeous. And so we have a very unique tree this year. And I love unique trees and unique things like that. So I'm, I'll show you guys on Instagram, but that came today. We're decorating that. Oh, it is Thursday. So bye tree. No, it was today. I keep thinking it's Friday today for some reason. Um, so that's going up on Saturday. Well, that's going up Saturday morning and we're going to decorate it on um, throughout the day on Saturday. Cause, uh, Getting a tree up that size is an all hands on deck situation <laughs> for sure. Um, quickly run back to my spread. The work stickers are from Simply Beautiful Plants. The bow is from uh, Dash of Sun Designs. Uh, the holly and bell is from the Pink Room Co. Is it the Pink Room Co? I don't remember. Pink, oh, my, Pink Paper Co. There we go. And no, this, I was talking about the Pink Room. Um, it's Pink Paper Co. And then these beautiful kind of champagne-y like gold um header overlays are from simply beautiful plans she actually has some gorgeous overlay tapes and so that's what this guy is throwing it down for you i did unfortunately only do half of my spread because that's this is when like a little bit ago is when the, uh, the headaches start to kick in and i start to kind of lose focus um yeah you see some writing for me baked cookies um that is my plan for tomorrow evening i have to pick up some stuff from bulk Mart 
for it, but I think I've got the majority. I think I'm gonna do <sighs> vegan gluten-free gingerbread. <laughs> I actually had a vegan gluten-free like gingerbread ice cream sandwich the other day. It was, it was. I think they said the base was made out of aquafaba, and I was slightly unimpressed. Um, it tasted like gingerbread, and then you got to the ice cream, and you're like, why is this the texture it is? It's almost like a cold marshmallowy texture because of the aquafaba and I was like I would have been fine with coconut ice cream <laughs> why are you putting aquafaba in things <laughs> but it's fine it was spongy it was interesting um ate them and then that was kind of it I don't think I'll be rebuying those again that's kind of gnarly um it tasted good it was just the texture and I'm not a huge texture person like it doesn't really bother me but that was a texture that I was just like not expecting I was like oh it's ice cream oh no that's a weird cold odd sort of a hard marshmallow weird but yeah <laughs> these are super cute little overlays decorate the tree that is our saturday oh gosh i've been wanting to go on for the last half hour <laughs> um i'm so tired oh my goodness but yeah sorry just like yawned for you guys gross um these are from paper bits co i get to sleep in on sunday i have a later shift i believe i have an 11 30 to 7 30 12 to 7 30 I have it written down here. Oh, 11 to 7 p.m. Um, that is my shift. Uh, I do have a shift tomorrow on Friday morning. It actually got changed from 11 to 6, I think, because we have a shipment coming in. I'm very excited for that. Um, little bow sticker from Dash of Sun Designs, which is really fun. And then some little holly from Dash of Sun, same sheet. And I did get her winter sheet version as well. Uh, where it's like snowflakes and bows. And so I have that for winter and silver. Pots a little cute little, I don't know, bow <laughs> there, which is very lovely. But yeah, um, I don't go too, too crazy with this spread. I think I'll pop in a couple more things before you see me head off and go to bed, basically. <laughs> but yeah, schedule of videos, which I actually did. I wrote down my next couple weeks of videos. Um, I do have a collab coming up in January as well. So I have one in two weeks and then one in January with a wicked awesome planner friend. I'm very excited for that. So yeah, <laughs> uh, Sadie stickers, little divider. I feel like I've just kind of been blabbering this entire <laughs> this entire video. I'm making a little tiny list. The cool thing is I'm actually done all my Christmas shopping. That's what I'm very excited for. Um, I'm finished. I got the last bit. I have one more thing. Well, it's not. I don't have to buy one more thing. I have my last piece for my dad coming on Saturday. It looks like it arrives Saturday from Amazon. Um, I bought him, my dad is a huge Viking, like Minnesota Vikings fan. He has been one since he came, since he moved to Canada at like 15. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he loves the Vikings, so that's fine. Um, buy Christmas pajamas. I was going to buy Christmas pajamas for at least for all of us, I think. I'm going to try to see if I can uh, do a little curbside at Old Navy. Um, but yeah, I picked him up a ugly Christmas sweater Vikings themed Christmas sweater, I guess. Um, and then socks that says at the bottom, if you can read this, I'm watching a Vikings game or something like that. So, um, and then I can pick them up just in like soaps and stuff for the shower. I just like little odds and ends from Sage. And then this is my spread. Um, I'll see you in a second. You'll hear me in just a quick minute. And thank you for watching. Well, hello again. So I'm back on more of a live more or less capacity. Um, the one thing I didn't quite get to do is show you me finishing off this side here. I had quite a bit of a headache like I had explained. Um, so I just kind of finished up what I could and then went to bed, but I didn't want to leave you hanging and show you what I finished off. So I did finish off the headers over here, added in some more stuff, tried a pen. Don't think I'm going to work with that pen. It's actually the Tombow one. I really like it, but it's too thick on this side. I wanna see if they do a thinner one, but I wanted more so for the brush. And then what else did I do? I added some little holly embellishments, um, finished out the headers, just kind of for the most part did this and then tick things off of as I went. This is probably the one spread I noticed where I don't do as much writing. I had quite a few of the scripts that I needed, um, which seems to be <laughs> what's been happening is I've been ordering scripts that I use more frequently and more often. So I've been more so relying on those than my ugly writing. But yeah, so that's pretty much all I did. Just added in a couple of embellishments. I didn't put the dates up here. I haven't found date dots that I love, but I have a bunch coming. So I'm going to go back and pop those in just to liven this up a little bit more. But that is my week spread. 
So I hope you guys really like it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you again next week for my Christmas flip through of my Christmas setup, as well as next week's second Christmas plan with me. And I'm very, very excited. Have a really good day, guys. I will see you soon. Bye.